I've come across unconscious gender bias a lot in my career. I've worked in the photography industry for a long time, and this is still a male-dominated field. I've seen photographers choosing male assistants over women because they assume they, they can carry more equipment and are technically more advanced as their female counterparts. For me, yes. In our culture, the social norm of conditioning women to behave in a certain way with respect to profession, responsibilities to the family, and overall attitude towards society is still quite prevalent. We were raised to be modest in thought, speech, and appearance, to only entertain feminine hobbies and skills, and to aspire to professions that were not male-dominated. Any form of deviation was not punished, but it was slightly judged and frowned upon. Yes, unconscious gender bias exists. These biases are ingrained in us and usually depend on what kind of environment we have grown up in. Most women have learned to just accept them as a normal way of living. For example, what kind of clothes you can wear, how loud you can be, how you can process your emotions, etc. The worst is victim shaming culture. Whenever a woman's safety is compromised, people still jump to conclusion regarding her character. Gender roles are another good example where I see unconscious gender bias. Women are expected to balance work and family and often told to choose family over career. During earlier years of my career, while applying to job positions, I focused on the skills I did not have rather than on those I have. And that ended up in me avoiding of sending a job application if I could not tick on most of the boxes. However, I noticed that other male colleagues or friends will still send the job application and not really focus on specifics rather than feeling the best candidate for that position, nevertheless. It was a revelation to me to discover another form of gender discrimination, which is treating the female body not different. The fact that we treat the male body as the default and what kind of effects this can have on dosing medications and recognizing disease. Just as an example, women are 50% more likely to be misdiagnosed with a heart attack as we may in fact present without any chest pain at all, but rather with stomach pain, breathlessness, nausea and fatigue. These symptoms are often referred to as atypical. Like the failure to include the female body in anatomy textbooks, the failure to include women in medical trials led to heart medication that was meant to prevent heart attacks. But at a certain point in a woman's menstrual cycle, it is actually more likely to trigger a heart attack. The corporate environment was a challenge at the beginning of my professional career. As a corporate lawyer, I often attended board meetings where the seats were mostly occupied by men only. At that time, only on rare occasions there would be a woman leading the speech. And on many tendencies, I have felt quite uncomfortable with sexist jokes. And I felt under pressure to fight twice as hard to run the respect and the space as a female lawyer. With the number of women holding CEO and board member positions growing over the years, is a true delight to me.